If you rebuke someone and do it with anger, you have allowed a passion to control you. You have not saved anyone and have destroyed yourself. Saint Macarius the Great. Obvious. I mean, <clears throat> this is such a this is such an obvious quote from a a lot of perspectives. <clears throat> People do things out of anger. They do things out of fear. Uh, and they do things out of whatever they're passionate about to control them. It could be wrong. It could be right. <clears throat> it's, in, it's important to be passionate about things. It's important to be passionate about having certain good things to fulfill your life. But if they're just empty passions, they're just empty things that they're not going to fulfill you to the point where those things are going to control you and those things are going to disregard your complete <clears throat> sense of, well, sense of being or your sense of identity if you let those passions override it. Um, and then you have not saved yourself, you saved anyone and have destroyed yourself. I see, I mean, you see it all the time. Like when somebody's somebody's addicted to something somebody is on the wrong path somebody is doing something wrongly or you know whatever whatever the wrongful conviction might be you see them destroy themselves and and then you not saved anyone you're just you're <clears throat> not only are you distancing yourselves around the people who care about you the most but the people who want to help you the most, then then you're just then you're just distancing yourself from the ones who want to save you, or the ones who love you, or the ones who want to you know help you in almost every respect and every regard, out of the goodness of their hearts, you know, and out of the goodness of their souls, and then just rebuking it out of anger is another case for good guy, bad guy, good cop, bad cop. Um, and it's getting that passion to control over it and wanting the, and having that wanting for, for being in, in a sense of reprisal. And it's just, and it's just, a, and it's just on repeat <laughs> because that's, that's kind of what a, that's, that's what a reprisal is. And it's, and it's getting to that passion that's controlling you. And I know in Orthodox Christianity, we obviously talk about it more on a good and evil sense, on a sense of, you know, the devil controlling you and, or, you know, well, the devil controlling your temptation and controlling your actions <clears throat> and, and you not being in communion with, with God and with those around you to not only help yourself, but save, save, save others. So in fact, the destruction and the anti and the antichrist spirit is very heavily involved within anger and fear and driving and driving that out. And in, in a lot of the Western world, they tend to use fear the most, the, the fear and the anger to sell to to get ratings to to just to just completely completely overcompensate for what love could what love could bring and the glory it brings to God and the glory it brings to us as Christians. I mean and I'm talking about Christians across the board and not just not just Orthodox Christians. And more so more so in fact it's in tune with with the ancient faith. Um but that's not to disregard that the that the other face there the other denominations of the faith can possess it, um, and it's sad though because it's it's one of those things where they 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 derive they derive from a false sense of hope a false sense of being, and <clears throat> that's that's letting another passion control, but in the same sense it's fear and anger still still controlling it and still and still going while swimming against that current of what God's love and wisdom provides. So by by speaking the supposed truth and trying and trying to 
save everyone save everyone <clears throat> and then in turn that you're just you're just destroying yourself and in turn you're not saving anybody <clears throat>